Bonjour tout le monde, bonjour et bienvenue au cours de français communautaire. Je m'appelle Monsieur Léo et je suis votre prof de français ce matin. Hello everybody, my name is Monsieur Léo, ou prof Léo, teacher Léo, and um, I am a French Mandarin and English teacher for Rola, and I'm very happy to be here today. Je suis tellement contente de, de vous voir ici. I'm very happy to see you here today. Um, bienvenue, bienvenue, welcome. Um, so if you can see from the title, we're doing um, direct objects. In French, c'est l'objet direct. And we're going to be learning how to um, replace them in a sense. We're going to be learning how to replace nouns with the direct object. So um, the lesson today, it's not too hard. We do it in English um, a lot too. So don't worry. Um, and we'll take our time and it'll be a good lesson. So um, before we get started with that, I would like to ask you two questions that I always ask. Um, and they are, Quelle est la date aujourd'hui? Quelle est la date aujourd'hui? Nous avons la petite formule qui, qui consiste de, de ça. Aujourd'hui, c'est jeudi. Le um, 14 janvier 2021. Aujourd'hui, c'est jeudi. So we start with aujourd'hui. Aujourd'hui means today. C'est, it is, jeudi. Jeudi, because I only teach on, on Monday, uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mardi et jeudi. Aujourd'hui, c'est jeudi. Le 14, because today is the 14th of um, janvier, uh, January. Le, uh, le 14 janvier 2021. Répétez après moi, s'il vous plaît. Aujourd'hui, c'est jeudi, le 14 janvier 2021. Très bien, tout le monde. Very good, everyone. The next one I have is, quel temps fait-il? Quel temps fait-il? That means, what is the weather today? Or like, how does it feel outside? Aujourd'hui, il fait gris. Very gray. It's very gray outside. It's not sunny. <coughs> Excusez-moi. Aujourd'hui, il fait froid. Oui, aussi parce que c'est l'hiver. Because it's winter. Et c'est tout, je pense. Il neige pas. Il n'y a pas de brouillard. Il pleut pas aussi. So, bon, très bien. I'm going to put this one up. Lire ensemble. Lire ensemble. Let's read together. Um, we're going to read this little um, lesson together. So here we go. Bon. Ça va. Okay. L'objet direct. So this is a grammar lesson. Um, throughout the week, I like to, throughout my two lessons that I go live, I'll change it up. I'll go between grammar and, and, and like a lecture or vocabulaire and stuff like that. So I like to change it up. And these things are important. But just know that every video that I do, it does not consist. It does not like add from each other. So it's not like the previous video is something that has to consist with this video today. So if you watch my last video, it's something different than what we're doing today. And that's the goal. It's not to build on each other. So the so like the goal is you can just click on any video and learn something brand new without having to know anything else. So bon, very good. So I'm very happy to see you guys here and I hope that you enjoy this lesson today. So we're learning about objet direct. In, in, in English, it translates to um, direct objects. Um, we do this a lot without even thinking in English. And in French, um, they do it too. Um, but... I always say less than English to a point because um, sometimes they like to say things like, oh, like I'm watching the film or I'm watching the movie, you know. Sometimes they'll say like, je le regarde or something like that, but uh, it all depends. So the direct object refers to the noun it receives that receives the action of a verb. So basically all you need in a sentence is a, ver a noun and a verb, right? Or a subject and a verb. He speaks. That's a complete sentence because we have a noun and we have a subject and we have a verb. If you add a noun, it makes it more complex. 
like he speaks French or she speaks um, Mandarin, for example. Um, so that makes it more complex. Um, <clears throat> so the direct object refers to the noun that receives the action of the verb. You can identify it by asking yourself who or what receives the action. So for example, the sentence that I just had, um, I'll type it here. He speaks French. The way you can ask, the way you can figure out what the direct object of this verb, uh, the sentence is, is who speaks French? He does. He. So it can be replaced by a direct object pronoun to avoid repetition. And the direct object, uh, the direct object pronoun precedes the verb. So in this sentence, we would say, I w uh, so the example that we have down there is, I watch the movie. Je regarde le film. I watch it. It is being replaced by the movie. So it's, je le regarde. So for example, he speaks French. French is, it's uh, le français in, um, in, in, in French. So it's, il le parle. It. Le parle. Very good. So, just like conjugating verbs, how we have the first, second, and third person, um, like standings, um, and singular and plural. When you conjugate, when you, it's almost like this is kind of like a conjugation as well, and it's important to memorize them. Um, the object, the direct object, has different endings too that are very important to memorize. So we have the first person singular. This coincides with the with the pronoun je. It means it's me, m e, or m apostrophe, me, and that means me. So that's a pretty good one to memorize. That's a pretty good one to know already. It means me. We've seen this already too. But here's a very simple phrase that you guys learn. Je m'appelle. If you've taken my intro one course or or any of my other courses that I teach at Rolla, um, I always say that je m'appelle is one of the one of the one of the first examples of this objet direct. Je m'appelle. When you have the m apostrophe, that signifies me. I call myself. Appeler means to call. Je m'appelle. I call myself, or my name is basically. So that's one of the first instances where we see. Of ob the object, the direct object being replaced. Very good. So we have m for me. The second person singular is t or t apostrophe. That means you. So me, you. Third person singular le, l apostrophe, him, it, la, l apostrophe, her, it. So just like when you conjugate, just like when you have a um like a subject pronoun, il, elle, uh, on. In French, there's also um, gender when you have the direct object. So it's le, elle apostrophe, la, elle apostrophe. Elle apostrophe does not take gender. It just, it just, um, it depends. It just um, has to, it has to agree. So if it's elle apostrophe for him, so like l'hôpital, um, that's where you would say um, il l'aime. Or il 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 lem. He likes to go to the hospital. Let's say. Very good. I don't know anybody who likes to go to the hospital, but um, first person plural is nous, us. Second person plural is vous, you. Third person plural is les. So it'd be kind of funny. So like if you have, we like us. Nous nous aimons. That's kind of a funny looking sentence, right? Because we have nous repeated twice. But the way it works is, it goes before the verb, the conjugated verb. And what you do is you add your subject pronoun, nous, and then you take, and then um, you take the object, the direct object, because it's replacing um, the, the 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 noun. So it's nous nous aimons, vous vous aimez. So it's interesting. Very good. So. Let's do this exercise together, keeping in mind, we'll use these. Let me see if I can make one more little 
Uh, ta -da. Okay. So, we have this little chart up here, and we're going to be using that to do this exercise down here. So the goal of this exercise, exercise three, fill in with the appropriate direct object pronouns. So, the first one. Il, them, adore. How do we say them when we, because we're going to be replacing this noun with them. So you could say like, he loves chocolates, basically, or he loves candies. Il adore les bonbons. Or il adore ces bonbons. He loves these chocolates, these candies. How would I say he'd like? He loves them. Il, because we have, oops, sorry. Il, he. This them does not represent il. This is something different. Il is the subject pronoun. Il, how do I say them? Les, très bien. Adore. Très bien. He loves them. I'm going to put like des bons bons right here just to show that the, he loves candy basically. Numéro 2. Je ta, I'm going to say blank, encourage à venir. I encourage you to come, basically. Like, I encourage you to come to the soccer match. This one, I'm going to use the second person singular. I'm not going to use the, the second person plural because it's just like everyday speech. And um, I'll just say tu. So, je t'encourage. Right? Je t'encourage because we have the second person singular. And the reason why I'm using an apostrophe, why am I using an apostrophe? Because encourage begins with a vowel. Very good. And I always say this. I feel like I should like get a tattoo that says this. The French like when things flow. They like liaison. So the reason, if I say je te encourage, je te, if I say te, je te encourage. So like watch what happens when I write that. It looks all right. But when I say it, je te encourage, it doesn't sound too pretty. And the French like when things are pretty. Je t'encourage. Doesn't that sound much nicer? Je t'encourage à venir. I encourage you to come. Venir means to come. I don't have the accent package on my computer. I've tried and tried and tried to get it, but it doesn't work. Um, à avec un grave, like this. That, that, um, that goes before the verb. <coughs> Very good. Numéro 3. Nous, you all, blank, et mon. This is where the second person plural comes into play because it will usually specify an exercise work for exercise books um, if it's plural. You. Remember, you, uh, the vous subject pronoun, we can use that, um, we can use that for um, a group of people like um, you all, like there could be like, I don't know, more than one person. You could say, ah, como, como vous, como, um, I don't know, like, como vous appelez-vous? What are your names? Or you could also say you all, like, um, like, like formally, like to a teacher. Uh, como, um, I don't know, like, como vous appelez-vous, madame? Or something like that. Or you could also say, uh, como vous appelez-vous to a group? Bon. Nous. And this is where we change it. So we say vous aimons. Très bien. Nous vous aimons. It looks kind of funny because it looks like we have two subject pronouns next to each other. But the vous in this context is not a subject pronoun. That is a direct object. And it's taking place of a noun. Quatre. Elle, her, écoute toujours. Elle. How do we say her in French? La, très bien. Elle la écoute toujours. So basically, like we could see something like she listens to I don't know um, Celine Dion a lot every like always. Elle la écoute toujours. Quatre, cinq. Tu as invite à ton mariage? Tu. How do we say as? Right here. The first part, we want the first person plural. 
to nous. Invite à ton mariage. Are you in, like, you, um, this is actually a question. Are you inviting us to your marriage, basically? <clears throat> elle me déteste. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, elle. This is easy, actually. We just change it. We just go me déteste. Elle me déteste. I'm going to put a... Oh, there we go. Elle me déteste. Oh, you are sad. Okay. Je, I want to say, je blague prends avec moi. I take them, I take them with me. So like basically, I could say something like, I take Caroline, Victoria, et Cécile with me. Je les prends avec moi. Bon, très bien tout le monde. Très, très, très bien. This exercise is, it, it's, it wasn't too tricky, I don't think. Um, you just have to kind of pay attention to it. Uh, but we do it in English all the time, if we realize. Um, and in French, they do too. So, like, for example, like my dictionary. I like my dictionary. I like it. In di dictionary in French is um, la dictionnaire, uh, le, diction le dictionnaire, dictionnaire. And you would say, je l'aime. Je Elle apostrophe M. Je l'aime. Très bien. Very good. Very, very good. So, if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section down below. And I will answer them. And, um, yeah. Um, let me just jump right back. So, if you have any questions, n'hésitez pas de les, les y mettre dans les commentaires. Et je vais les répondre dans un instant, and I will respond to them in an instant. Um, yeah. So that's all I have planned for today. I hope that you enjoyed the lesson. Um, J'espère que vous avez, uh, vous aimez ce leçon avec plaisir. Et je vais vous, je vais, je vous verrai uh, ce mardi um, qui viendra de ce mardi de Ocam. Um, et oui, c'est tout. Ok, c'est tout aujourd'hui. Au revoir et bon week-end aussi. Bon week-end. J'espère que vous passerez une, euh, euh, un bon week-end et bon fin de semaine. Bon fin de la semaine. Ok, au revoir tout le monde. Ciao.